again back with another video and today we're doing the top five overrated players and in the NFL in 2019 now we're not doing on Tom Brady but I should have a picture of Tom Brady for the intro so yeah so Jake's gonna start us off with number five with the Jay Ajayi uh, thank you Jay um so number five you like you said I got Jay Ajayi yeah um he's and the Eagles like I know a lot of Eagles fans but Jay Ajayi He's super overrated. If you look at his stats, in the past one season, he had two touchdowns and um, no touchdowns at all in a post game. And he's really slow, and he's just really overrated. And so that's the reason why, basically. Okay, so that's Jay Ajayi, and we'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so with number four, we have Josh Norman, and uh, I think he's very overrated because – now, not to diss on any Redskins fans, um, but the thing with him is when the Redskins got him, like with any other quarterback they've been trying to draft in the past three years, it's been a bust. Uh, Josh Norman, I wouldn't say he's a bust, but he's definitely overrated. People have been predicting him to be like the best quarterback, but if you tell that he's not had the best rec uh, season stats, uh, they haven't made the po postseason and couple seasons, uh, a couple years, uh, I think it was 2015 or 2016, last time they made it, and uh, that was before they got Josh Norman, so, yeah, sorry uh, about any Redskins fans out there, but just gotta go with what's going on with his stats. Okay, now at the number three spot, Kirk Cousins, um, I mean, I hate doing this one because, you know, I'm a Vikings fan, but Kirk Cousins, I, I can diss on him because, you know, when the Vikings got him, they predicted that, that he they were going to make the team good with him, and uh, last season, they made it to the postseason and went far and lost to the Eagles, but looking at this season, Kirk Cousins came, and they had a terrible record, 8-7-1, and one, and uh, that really kind of brought a theory on Kirk Cousins was the reason, and uh, the Vikings weren't predicted to be this like this, they are predicted to even do better, but that didn't happen for them, so. So at the number uh, two spot, we have Nick Foles, and Jake's going to tell you why. So yes, Nick Foles has won a Super Bowl, and yes, he has won a, um, a post-game last season, but he is very overrated because he works really well and um, Doug Peterson's um, offensive strategy and when he leaves the Eagles and he goes to a different team, you'll see how overrated he is. Uh, he just does not have the talent to carry on a different team with a new coach and all that. And number one spot we have OBJ. Yes. Uh, a lot of you guys might agree with me on this one. Uh, yes, he is a good receiver. Yes, he is noticeable a lot. But if he did not catch that football, that, that, I'm talking about that one-handed catch, and I'm sure Jane has that on the screen. Yeah. OBJ is so overrated. Yes, like I said, if he didn't make that catch, he'd still be noticeable. He's still a decent receiver. He knows what he's doing and all that. But he wouldn't be as famous as he is now if he did not catch that football. And you can look at his stats, and his stats are falling each year. He's getting injured a lot, and he's just not that good. He's way overrated. I think that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure to give it a like and comment below if you have any other video ideas. So, yeah, see you in the next video.